Hi, this is Scott Brown with a Motor Age Service Done Right video sponsored by Transtar Industries. Now, Transtar is best known for providing high quality transmission components for over 45 years to the professional service industry. Transtar is now providing high quality new AC system components that meet or exceed manufacturer equipment specifications. Today we're talking about proper AC service diagnostics along with compressor replacement. Now AC systems have evolved over the years with variable displacement compressors, redesigned condensers with integrated receiver dryers, and more where ACs isn't as simple as it was years ago. As we all know, diagnostics is a critical step one must perform to ensure that the prescribed repair will be highly effective. For example, you may be presented with a vehicle that has a poorly performing AC system. The first step in any diagnostic is to perform a visual inspection followed by collecting a baseline of information such as pressures, temperatures, and in some cases, additional diagnostics will be required, which we'll discuss further in a few minutes. Whenever you're performing a pressure diagnostic, it's always a clever idea to perform a refrigerant identification. In fact, 1234YF vehicles and systems will require that as a mandatory step. This test will let you know if there's any air in the system and verify refrigerant type. But please be aware, this cannot identify the presence of stop leak. In my shop, we always ask the client if they've had any recent refrigeration service and whether or not they've had any over-the-counter recharge units used. We'll always ask them if they can show us the product. We're always extremely cautious as we don't want any of that stuff harming our equipment. Now, in some cases, you may want to take a look inside of the AC system to assess the charge level, presence of dye, oil charge, and looking for debris. The tool I like to use is the Aircept Sight Glass Diagnostic Tool. This tool should be flushed out and evacuated after each use. And as you can see on this vehicle, it has a good partial charge in it, very little evidence of tracer dye, and I can see a small trace of refrigerant oil as well. Now during the visual inspection of the hoses and fittings, one should also check the performance of the engine and transmission mounts. Excessive movement can easily lead to failed AC lines and fittings resulting in leaks. Now since the condenser is subject to road debris, a close inspection should always be performed of this component. Over the years, I've observed all sorts of problems caused by trash and debris affecting system performance. Additionally, small rocks and other hard items can hit the condenser and promote leaks. So looking for oil stains is a clear indication of a potential leak point. For cases where the system charge level appears to be normal, along with abnormal pressure values, one should always take a look at the high level to ensure that we have proper airflow across both the condenser and the evaporator. With today's systems, it's not uncommon to see a system's charge level specification of just over one pound of refrigerant. And achieving the proper latent heat in both devices is crucial to obtaining proper system performance. System cooling fan operation should always be checked. Now, most modern vehicles today have electronically controlled compressors, which manage the pumping volume of that unit. This system can present challenges during analysis, and in some cases, you may need to use a device like this that will allow you to interrogate these controls. With the device installed along with manifold gauges, one can observe system pressures, temperatures, and compressor performance. The interrogator can also allow you to check the internal resistance of the control solenoid within the AC compressor. Additionally, you can also manually take control of the compressor for deeper analysis of compressor performance. As you can see, this tool is essential for diagnostics. For times where you've concluded that the compressor is at fault and requires replacement, the professional industry practice is to always replace the receiver dryer. Now, most vehicles today have the receiver dryer integrated with the condenser. Having such small passages, it is always recommended to change out the condenser, and then flush the entire system before you put the vehicle back into service. For me, one of the major pain points experienced during service is missing seals. One would think that for most cases, the parts would come with the seals. 
and I've often seen hours wasted. Now, Transtar provides AC service kits that contain everything you need to make compressor replacement as smooth as possible. Their kits include a new compressor with a new compressor control valve, a condenser, receiver dryer, expansion valve, along with the oil charge and all the gaskets and seals that you'll need. Now, once you have your system operating properly, it's best to record system pressures and temperatures and record those to the repair order. Visit Transcend.us and set up an account today. This is where you can order from their AC line of parts and service tools. Additionally, the Transcend catalog integrates with the top modern shop management platforms to make your parts lookup and ordering easier. Well, that's all I have for now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and thanks for watching.